hi everybody welcome back to Nally and Ruth Designs well this is Christmas week it has arrived and I know everybody's super super busy so if you are joining in to see my uh, Christmas crossword uh, puzzle collage thank you um, it it always warms my heart and it lifts my spirit when we have a holiday and people still stop by. Like I said, I know it's a very busy week. So if you're catching this after the holidays, um, I hope it was definitely merry and bright for you. So um, I'd love to have you come along for this little journey. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I think everybody has fun here, so I'd love to have you join in on the fun. Um, and for my returning subscribers, um, thank you and um, welcome back. So this year, this year, yeah, I guess I could say this year because I'm already thinking about next year's collages. Um, this time around, my I put my sentiment in and it's have a holly jolly Christmas. It's one of my favorite, favorite all-time um, Christmas songs. And because it's just a fun and uplifting um, song, I thought we would just do a fun, fun, bright, merry and bright and holly jolly um, collage. So I have my, my paper picked out right here for my background. This is my Swiss dot. It comes out of it's the same pack that I make these snowflakes out of. I have talked about that in the past. Um, this is the, the damask. You can kind of see the pattern there. And then this is the Swiss dot. And this is actually wedding paper, 12 by 12, 12, by 12 um, kit, scrapbooking kit. And I just love these papers. Then what I have is um, I have other paper and it is from Cartabella and these this sweet village scene here I'm going to show you because I bought a ton of this and I really like using it so this is Cartabella and I'll show you the section where um, I cut the top off but this is the paper here and I've had more fun. It's A Very Merry Christmas by Stephen Duncan, Cartabella. I have had more fun using this paper. It's double-sided. So when I'm scrapbooking, I can do both sides. But it's just fun and whimsical and retro. That is the one thing that just brought me... Um, when I first saw this, because retro really does bring me to my knees. I just, I love it, because I grew up with it. Then, um, they have the same, they have the element stickers, and I thought I would have fun, and I'm kind of doing fun with these stickers, and I'm kind of doing the, this, like, I don't know, one Christmas present I used to get every year when I was little and I just loved it was, um, and if you're, again, if you're in your 60s, you should probably remember color forms. I loved to play with color forms. And my mom would always have a box or two of color forms that she would um, get me at Christmas time. And if you don't know what color forms are, they came in a box about this size, okay? And it was, the box was only about maybe two inches tall. And in there, there was a laminated mat that you would open up. Sometimes it was, you didn't open it like a board game. It was flat. And it had a scene on it. Um, it you know, one of mine was like the interior of a house. I remember that. And you had these sheets. You had a sticker sheet, but they weren't sticker. They were rubberized, okay? But you would have images like this. And then what you would do is you would put the images and you would play on the laminated mat and those stickers um, would 
would um, hold on there and you could move them around. So when I was creating this, that memory and the, that image came back to me and I thought, hmm, this will be like a um, color form playtime. I know it sounds, it sounds silly, but I just, some things just really, memories warm my heart. Um, you know, I, I was very blessed. I had a really wonderful childhood. I had amazing parents. Um, and I just have so many wonderful memories that I just like to draw on them. I mean, there. So there is, there's my little laminated board right there. And I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just thought playing with this paper and um, it would just be fun. I'll just figure it out as we go. So I took, I took these and I cut them out. Uh, let me see if I can, because there is a background. I'm going to take another page out so you can see. Because I have a ton of this. So you can see here that there is a background. So if you wanted to make a belly band or whatever, you could just cut it off at the red. So I took these and then I cut them just below the white and then I fussy cut with my X-Acto knife, X -Acto knife and cut these out, which I just think they are so sweet. So this is Darcy's department store. Then you have shoes and accessory. You have your toy shop. Um, I don't. That's a boutique, but I don't know. I don't know the name of that boutique. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Let me get my little. I spy with my little eye. Oh, ladies boutique. That says ladies boutique. Um, not that it matters, but it just makes it fun. Stationery and crafts. Okay. Now we have the restaurant, and then we have our cafe here. So, I'm sure, again, you, you may have grown up in a nice community um, where they had a downtown. My downtown looked very similar to this that we would go shopping at. And then this here, I took, this was actually a little bit bigger, and there was a dog behind it. But this is from um, Simon uh, Simon Says Stamp, a little pamphlet in the mail. And I said, I'm going to take this. This is, the, this is the pamphlet. I said, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cut it out. So this was on the front cover and had a dog. Um, but that caught my eye. And <clears throat> I said, I'm going to use this in some fashion. So... When I put this down here, I said, you know what? I want to extend this and make it look like this is part of the building as well. And I thought that would be fun. These could be part of um, the tall buildings, and they're all decorated like a big Christmas tree or um, gift wraps kind of like when you go I don't remember if it was I know it's not Macy's it might have been Lord and Taylor or Saks Fifth Avenue um, they would they one year they dressed their um, building as a large package I know Edith um, Elizabeth Arden they have the they're known for the red door and they decorate their red door beaut they decorate it like a big red uh, package the beautiful I think they put a white bow on it that's the one thing I miss about going into the city um, is seeing all the beautiful decorations and the windows and things like that so all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down here because I know I want that here and I'm not making a pocket or anything I'm not doing anything um, fancy schmancy on here. I'm just going to glue this down. And let's see. Looks 
So I hope everyone is enjoying this week and you're not, um, you know, running around like a chicken with your head cut off and worrying about getting this done and getting that done. And, you know, Aunt Susie's coming and she, you know, I don't have her pie baked for her. And that's, that's not what it's supposed to be about. So we don't have anybody come on Christmas and, um, you know, we just had our immediate family. You know, I mean, my, my mom and dad are both gone. They're, they're deceased. And my in-laws are um, no longer around. Um, so it's just our immediate family. And it's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. Alright, so this here I want to bring up a little bit because I may want to use that streetscape. Um, I have a little idea. I'll bring that right up about here. Okay, right about there. Okay. Alright. So that is extended. Alrighty, okie dokie. Now, I can do a couple different things here. Um, I could take, I could take old Santa here, and I'm just going to kind of, I had a couple different ideas. Um, I mean, I'm thinking of songs in my head thinking of a lot of old Mitch Miller songs that I used to listen to. Um, the one thing I thought might be kind of fun, I took it off of this one over here, is if I took Santa, and we're just going to play. So if you see something that you like better, just give me a shout. Hopefully I can hear you. I thought Santa might be fun right there up on the rooftop. That is something that um, might be kind of fun. Or, I don't want this to, these are sticky, but I don't want them to stick too much and tear the paper. My color forms weren't that sticky. The other thing I thought of was that's why color forms were fun because they didn't really stick stick adhere forever to the paper we could have santa i could put santa up here um over the rooftops i know what one thing i'd really like to put down here um because this is a streetscape. Oh, come on, Barbie. I thought, because isn't this sweet? Look at that. They're bringing their Christmas tree home. So I thought it would be fun if we put if we put them chugging along home with their tree. Okay. I think that's cute. Um, this car is a little too big. That would be fun. You know, another streetscape, but I think it might be too big. Yeah, I think that is too big. So I'd like to do something else there because I really don't want to cover up too many of these buildings. I just think they're so cute. Um, 
we could, I mean, because we've got the rooftops here, we've got, if we had Santa with his bag on top, we could put his sleigh We could put Santa's, we could put him there with his sleigh on top of the roof. I could put his, I might do that. I think I'm going to do that. Once I make that commitment with these stickers, you got to go for it. And I like that, too, because you see Darcy's a little bit better. So we've got Santa. There's his sleigh. Okay. And he's up on the rooftop. And then they're coming home with their Christmas tree. And let's see. Um, this guy's kind of fun. He could be... He's a little he's a little too big. I don't want to do that. No, 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 don't want to do that. So now I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit more over to this side. And I think up here I'd like to put um, I'd like to put the 25. So whoops. Ha! Let's not let's not get that mixed up. So I think I'll do this a little off center, okay? And we are just going to ignore that. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna have to call my girlfriend back. Okay, so there's the 25. And I think we're going to put some holly berries right here. So we've got the 25 there. Isn't that cute? This is so festive. All the color, the, all the colors of Christmas. So we have that there and then I just want to finish this up over here and I'm thinking that I would really like to put a Merry Christmas sign over here. Um, I do have one. I have this one here but this one may be too big. Too big and bulky. Uh, let's see. So I'm thinking maybe this is a whole other sheet because I just love these Cardabella. This is a whole other um, sticker sheet that I have had for a while. And that this Merry Christmas here may just do the trick. And look at all of these fun retro Yep, this is Cartabella. Um, is there, I guess it's just Merry Christmas. So this is just, oh, I just love these. Love, love, love them. So I think I will take this Merry Christmas and try not to rip it. And I think what we're going to do is I am just going to place this Um, I think I'm going to place this right here. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. And then um, I have these 
fun little we will put there little retro stars that oh. and that and this one Oh my gosh, how sweet is that? And I think, I think that is it. I don't want to overdo it. Although Christmas, you're supposed to look like you threw up on everything. Decorations, right? You're supposed to throw all of that Christmas goodness up and out and get it out and get it colorful and the bright lights and the Christmas and, oh, I just love Christmas. I just love Christmas. So I think, I think that's good. I think we are done. So that is my Christmas crossword collage. And if you do participate or you want to, um, please use hashtag 2023CW for crossword collage. I would love to see your work. I'd love to hear about your work. So um, if you are participating, please leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you um, like this collage here. I want everybody to have a super duper duper very, very Merry Christmas. Um, I hope, again, it's a holly jolly Christmas for you. Um, we have so much to be grateful for, so much to be thankful for. Um, I'm so thankful to all of my subscribers. I just can't tell you what you mean to me. Um, and I just always wish the best for all of you. Um, so again, thank you and have a great Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas!